Uh, hey, what's going on here? Um, Jamal, this isn't what it, it looks like. It's... it's not at all what you're probably thinking. Um. Okay. You tell me what I'm thinking, okay? And then you, you can tell me what it is. Oh. oh. I thought you were dead. I thought I'd lost you it's forever. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. They found your car at the bottom of a ravine, and I, I are you okay? Yeah, what? yeah I, I'm, I'm fine. It's just a little bump. What happened? Well, I think that some idiot just knocked me over the head, stole my purse, stole my car, and then when I came to, I flagged down a cop, and, well... You caught your car, Jacker. <laughs> it was a big surprise. It's got a record a mile long. Look, you might want to contact your insurance company. My what? Uh, insurance for your car. Do you really think that I... I'm sorry. I'm... I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I guess it took me getting a bump on the head and a stolen car for us to... Get together again, like no. this. No. Took your stubborn husband realizing what this world would be like without you. Not a place where I'd like to live. Let's get out of here. Nothing I like better. So, Doc really did lie to me. He said he was going to work. Yeah, right, some piece of work. I can't believe that. That is the scarf. That's the scarf that I helped him pick out for Libby for Christmas. I can't believe it. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm, I'm jumping to conclusions. Maybe that really is Libby. I can't really tell. Oh, no. That's not Libby. She's way too tall. Look at the way he's touching her. Way too touchy-feely. Oh, Doc. Why did you lie to me? Well, I'm gonna find out why, why you lied. And why that woman is with the man I'm supposed to marry. Jamal, this was, um, it was just a... It, it was just me. S saying goodbye to a friend. I'm leaving town soon, okay? Yeah, not soon enough. Ellie, I got eyes, okay? It wasn't just Wraith kissing you. You were kissing back. Yeah, it didn't look like friends to me. Listen, I can explain. No, okay? you know what? If anybody should be explaining here, it's me, okay? I am not who you think I am. I'm here to do something very important. Yeah, you came here to snake my girl away from me. But why don't we just call it like it is, Ray? That's what I'm trying. Well, come on, man. No, Rafe. listen. You don't. You don't have to do that, okay? You don't. You may not believe this. No, listen. But I'm, I'm, I I'm, don't. I'm. I mean, I, I think that we need some but, time but look, alone. If he understood no, what was going I've on, I've never then had a problem speaking for myself. Okay, so I think maybe that you should just go. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Valerie. That means you, too. Just... T it's okay. I'll be around if you need me, Joel, all right? What happened in there? Well, it's Nelson's fault. Well, you guys seem pretty tight. It was a big mistake. It didn't look like a mistake to me. You know what? This doesn't really concern you. That's where you're wrong. You just did me a huge favor. What was Rafe babbling about? And what did you call him the other day? An angel? <laughs> Not much of an angel trying to boost some other guy's girl. Listen, Jamal, will you please just stop pounding your chest Ellie, for two you seconds and let me explain? Please. Al, you're I all caught up with this guy. Why don't you just admit it? And don't tell me it was nothing, Allie. I wasn't going to tell you that. Jamal, there is something between me and Rave, and I think that you should know the truth. I am just going to march right up to Doc, and I'm going to demand it. 
Tell me straight out who that tramp is. Oh. Hey. Uh, are you okay? What happened? Did you slip down? Let me. Oh no. Oh dear. Does it hurt? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I, I've got something that can clean that right up. Don't even think about it. You know, I saw you throwing those snowballs earlier. You've got quite an arm there. I think you could make it in the big leagues for sure. Oh. Oh. Does it sting? Oh, there. Got it. See. All better. Thanks. <laughs> Mommy, I threw snowballs. Oh. Well, Doc, no one's gonna be around to clean up your wounds when I get through with you. Oh my goodness, they're gone. Ladies, wouldn't I thought we'd both use this. Wow, thanks. <sighs> this is nice. Mm. Just the two of us. Sitting here sharing a glass of wine together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told you I'm fine. It's just a little bum. I'm just checking it. Come on, you of all people know what a hard hit I have, right? I bet I do. Okay. Besides Dr. Thornhart, I've already been checked out. So if you don't mind, I'd like my husband back. <laughs> what should we drink to? Um, here's to, uh, to the light going on in my head. I always knew I loved you, but I didn't know how much until that cop told me that you were gone forever. And, uh, I know I told you that. I thought we had all the time in the world to work things out. But then all at once, I thought there was no time at all. It's amazing how quickly things can change. Think of an eye. Well, then let's drink to... not wasting any time. Look, Jamal, Rafe is a very special person, and we've gotten pretty close, and I really care about him. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, all right. I care about him like a friend who is leaving town. And Jamal, I'm not going to lie to you. I am going to miss him. Allie, yeah, friends are, are people that, that you go to the movies with, or you might go borrow some money from them or something like that. You don't go around locking lips with friends, it was Allie. just a goodbye kiss. Okay. Maybe it went a little bit too long. Do you know how it felt? Walking in that door, seeing you like that? Do you? I don't love him. Okay, I couldn't. Because the only person that I really love is you. I, I, I know, I know, Allie, but... I just don't understand, okay? It's just I been a little hard lately. Okay, I feel a little cut off and lonely. What, you mean because Valerie's been around all the time? It's a good thing that you are helping her. It's It's been a little bit of a strain. I, I know Valerie's not your favorite person. Well, can you blame me? I mean, she has a huge thing for you. And you two share a child together. Allie, come on. I did not plan on her coming back in I'm my life, Allie. I'm not blaming you, Jamal. I'm not. I'm just saying that it's always been the two of us. You know, until suddenly Valerie showed up. I just found myself outside a lot. And then Rafe was there. And he was working the situation. He wouldn't do that. Come on, Allie. Come on. He's a guy, isn't he? Not exactly. Listen, <sighs> aren't you supposed to be on your way to Chicago? Yeah, I was, until Valerie showed up at the airport with her own ticket to Chicago. I thought you told her that you wanted to go see the Hartmans by yourself. Yeah, but she came in and she was tripping out about how we needed to get our daughter back from the Hartmans. Oh, my God. Yeah, and then everything really got ugly, and by the time it, it was over with, we missed our flight. Jamal, I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. And then and I told her that I had it, and then I brought her back to the apartment to get her stuff and move out. And that's... And then you walked in on, on me and Ray. Sucking face. All in all, not 
a really good day. Tell me what I can do to make this better. I feel so bad. It's not all your fault. I've been kind of wrapped up in my own stuff lately. Yeah, I guess the one thing that we both should have learned from Caleb is to not take love for granted. Yeah. Almost messed up. <laughs> yeah. Almost. I just screwed up royally. Here I am, sent to put couples back together, and I nearly blow Allison and Jamal out of the water. And it was my fault. Oh, man, why can't I stop thinking about her? I'm in way, way over my head. I really need to talk to somebody about this. Lucy, I am so glad to see you. Oh. I've been sending out all my little vibes to meet your little vibes because I need to vibe with you because you're the only person who can really help me, I think, as you always do. Yeah, well, I can help everyone but myself. See, I, I really need to I really to need talk. to talk to you. Rafe, um, I, I think that my doc is cheating on me because, see, he lied. He never lies, and he, he lied to me. He said he had to go see a patient, but instead he was, he was in the park with some woman holding hands. How do you know? Because I sort of followed him there. Oh, that's not important. What's important is I went up to confront him, and I was almost going to ask him, and then a little boy sort of ran, you know, and I, I am the sucker for oh, kids. Okay, and... okay, come on. Come, come on. Come well, well, okay. You know, sometimes if you think about someone other than yourself, it kind of helps put things into perspective. That's what I'm doing. I am thinking about somebody else. I'm thinking about that woman who is making time with my soulmate in the park, my oh, dog. Th this is crazy. I mean, how could Doc be seeing some other woman when he's planning a surprise wedding for you? I don't know. Maybe the, the surprise is on me, you know, instead. That maybe Doc, after everything, doesn't really want to marry me at all. And I'm just getting a big fat lump in my stocking of, sorry, I'm dumping you for somebody else. Hey, hold on. You're going to have to think about this another way. What, what? Doc is seeing another woman. What other way am I supposed to think about this? Well, it, maybe this other woman is, is, is a patient. And, and he took her outside, you know, for whatever reason, the, the shrink might do that. I see. So she's an agoraphobic, and he just took her outside for some fresh air. Right. That, that's good. Now, uh -huh. I have to ask your opinion about No, now, wait a minute. Right? So you're saying that he gave her a scarf that we picked out for Livy to this woman just because, because why? Because maybe he had the present on him, and, and, and the patient got cold, so, so he, he lent her the scarf. I cannot believe that I actually used to think you were good at this stuff. Hey, easy now. I got stuff on my mind, too. Now, listen, maybe maybe she's, she's just a wedding planner, okay? A wedding planner, okay. This is her first job, and he's holding her hand because she's just so darn nervous. It's possible. No. I don't know what's possible. I know you're trying. I really appreciate it. Rafe, I've been around the, the blocks, you know, a few more times than you. And, and I tell you, if it talks like a duck, it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, it smells like a duck, then it's probably a duck. And dollars to donuts, my doc has got a new little ducky. I know you were uncomfortable with us being out in public, but it was okay, wasn't it? I mean, no one saw us, no one knows. And it's gonna stay that way until we're ready to break the news. You're thinking about Lucy. We'll deal with her. We've got to make sure we do it right this time. Oh, you're freezing. Come on, let's go back to the hotel. Cancel all my patients. We can spend the whole day together. That's all I want to do. Miss Hollander. Dr. Hartman, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Chicago. I came back because I need to talk to you and Jamal. It's urgent. Mm. Baby, I swear, I swear, things will be back to normal. As soon as Valerie is out of here, it'll be just you and me. Well, are you sure? Because, you know, Valerie, is it going to stop trying to change your mind about... Uh, I don't care. It's all settled. All I have to do is tell the Hartmans that it's safe to come back to town and that I'm not a threat. And then my baby girl can be happy again. 
Yeah. And Valerie can stay out of my life. Well, that sounds good to me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're all alone right now. And I noticed. it would be hmm, kind of horrible for us to waste an opportunity like this. Oh, hmm. Hmm. It's me. It's important. Oh. Just get up. Just get up. Because otherwise she's going to tunnel away in. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Bally, what is it now? Dr. Hartman. Look, uh, there's no time for apologies or explanations. My baby girl, Hope, is very sick. And I need your help. Wait. What? Um, well, you know, it's just been a long time, and I want to change into something a little more comfortable. You couldn't look more beautiful than you do right now. Well, no, really. You know, you could light some candles and maybe put on some music while... Mm -hmm. I... I really... I want this moment to be perfect. So why don't you... You know, light the music and put on the candles and... Mm. Everything we need is right here. It's right here. I am such a fool, you know? I am so in love with that man. And when I saw those rings, I've just been running around with stars in my eyes, you know? All this time, maybe Doc's just been running around. I don't pretend to know the first thing about love. In fact, it, it's a complete mystery to me. I mean, I, I know it makes you do crazy things. And no matter how hard you try, you can't outrun it. No. Because what's the point, really? What is the whole point of anything? What's the point of existing if you don't have love? Is it really that incredible? You know, it's like a roller coaster ride sometimes, so it's so bumpy and scary and insane and... Well, you know you've been in love. Yeah, yeah, sure. Tons of times. And you know, it is insane. You want them all the time, and you think about them all the time. Yeah. Maybe I forced Doc into this with the whole Ian thing, and... You know, I don't know if you know this about me, but... I can tend to be a bit overwhelming sometimes. Really? Maybe Doc just got cold feet about the whole wedding thing, and so his cold feet led him to somebody else's little feet. I just... I just wish I knew what was going on here. Well, you did start to confront him. Yeah, I did. And, and, and then I got sidetracked. But you know what? I think was a good thing. What? Well, because? Because maybe I wasn't supposed to confront him. Maybe I'm just supposed to sit back, take a deep breath, you know, and not put my foot in it. Maybe I'm supposed to just let things... Slide. See what happens. That, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait this thing out and see what happens. Thank you for your sympathetic ear. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to take your advice. Come here, you. Mwah. Ta. Ta. My advice to you, had you given me the chance, would be to talk to Doc and put an end to all this doubt. I'm boo. What do I know? I'm just your not-so-perfect guardian angel who just kissed a mortal woman who's in love with someone else, so I, <laughs> I'm going straight to hell. And... What are you looking at? I am not, I repeat, not going to ask Doc about his suspicious behavior. I'm going to be very zen-like, cool, calm, wise, patient. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Lucy. Doc. Sorry. No, sorry. I'm, I'm totally to blame. Totally to blame. Cool. Calm, wise, patient. Excuse me? Look, we really need to talk. And I know I'm not going to like the answer, but there's something i got to ask. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Miracles happen. 
I think I owe you an apology. Maybe you were in love. No, that's not true. Allison and I are just friends. Allison, I need some water. You don't need water. I got what you need.